absence of any kind of suffering is felt like a pleasure or happiness when we come in contact with anything in the world. Take a simple example. Oh, I'm so happy eating pasta in a restaurant. So there was some kind of an hesitation in the mind to eat pasta. We have a liking, we have a desire, we have a craving. And we are happy eating it. We are happy. Happy means Happy means what? Does this happiness come from the pasta? I know you will say yes. If you say yes, oh, it means pasta contains the property of happiness. No. So that is what I'm saying. Absence of suffering or hesitation in the mind is felt like a pleasure or happiness. Oh, I don't have a car, so I won a lottery, and then I bought a car, and I'm happy. So if you are happy buying a car, then you are always happy. If you are not happy, sit inside the car. Our great masters says that it demands a clarity and understanding whether the world outside of people, a place, of event, of celebration gives me happiness. If the world outside gives me happiness, it means world contains the happiness. Every object has the property of peace and happiness. That is what happened in great resignations. So if they contain the property of happiness, then the entire universe and the planet Earth with 8 billion people would be happy. See the second, uh, second reason to contemplate. So if the world outside do not contain the property of happiness, that is one aspect. But uh, you cannot deny, I know, you will say that you cannot deny that I experience the happiness inside. So obviously the world is outside, the car is outside, experience of happiness inside, pasta is outside, happiness inside, soulmate outside, happiness inside. It means mind is the source of happiness because you experience everything in the mind. <laughs> is it so? We need to inquire. We need to understand if the world is not the source of happiness and uh, the mind, then the mind is the source of happiness. The same mind causes worries and anxiety, duality and a reaction at one time and becomes happy at the other time. It becomes happy with the one person at one time and becomes unhappy with the person uh, same person other time. So it means mind is also not the source of happiness. Then where it is? Eastern wisdom, all the 6,000 years old tradition speaks of that. The source of happiness is within me, independent of anything in the world outside and independent of the mind. Whether it is peace, happiness, love, truth and wisdom, that is the journey of the self-discovery. 